Hello and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. Uh, now, my first thought today was to show you the snow that we got here where I am in the UK. Um, then it struck me that that will A, mess with my lighting setup and B, insult all the people who live in huge northern continental landmasses like uh, North America and Europe who get real snow every year rather than the sort of half inch dusting that I'm looking at today. But um, anyway, we got some snow. Now, um, I, I'm just going to very quickly deal with a question from yesterday, which is, am I not going to re-record a solve of Trevor Tower's even more oddly satisfying Shodoku to get it correct? And the answer is no, I'm not. Um, I got 80% of the way through that one before I made the error. I pointed out the error in um, in a card that was, I mean, a, a note on the video. So... You know, anybody else can finish that off if they want. I can't quite see the point of logging a complete solve. The whole point of our solves, and this may be relevant today, is that we do blind solves. We don't know the answers when we start them. So um, it is very much not the sort of movie we do, not the sort of video we do on the channel, is to kind of go through a solve for a second time. That's not our plan. Now, I'm going to start this one with an apology to uh, its compiler, Dolev Secha, who's a big fan of the channel and sent us this video, which he called uh, this... God, I'm calling everything the wrong thing. Sent us this puzzle, which he calls Kropke's Revenge. Um, and I ended up writing back to him saying that our tester thought there was a mistake in it. And... Uh, Dolev had to very patiently write back and say, no, he's had it retested and rechecked and there are no mistakes. So um, my apologies about that, assuming I get through the end of this video and there are no mistakes, which I'm sure is going to be correct. Now, the rules are these, that rather than normal crop key relationships, what the dots in this puzzle show are, black dots show a proportion of three to one instead of two to one between two cells. So these cells could be one and three, for instance. White dots show a difference of two rather than one between the cells. So these ones could be three and five, say. Gray dots can be either black or white, but all dots are shown. So those are the rules, normal Sudoku rules apply of this puzzle. And uh, just before I start, I will mention our apps. Um, the Killer Sudoku app is the latest one out, uh, and there are four others, of course, Sandwich, Miracle, Chess, and Classic, and they're all available on Android, Steam, and through the App Store. Um, and, of course, our Patreon content, we're two or three, day, three days away, I think, no, four days away on, out from releasing January's um, extra content, which won't be as hard as December's or November's or October's, and that's guaranteed. Um, so <laughs> that's definitely going to happen in on January the 1st. Now, back to this puzzle then, Dolph Satcher's uh, Kropke's Revenge, and I'm a, a little bit nervous given that reaction from the tester and so on. So let's, let's do try it on the link below the video. Um, I'm going to have a go now, and let's get cracking. I mean, how do we? How the heck do we do this? So few dots, or anything other than grey. We've got two whites and a black. Do we have long strings? We yeah. There's quite a long string of numbers, including the white dot. But the thing is, what are the relations? Because we're not using 1, 2, 2, 4, 3, 6, and 4, 8 this time. We're using 1 to 3, 2 to 6, 3 to 9 for the black relations. And then the whites. Listen, I think the only way to go about this is to map out the, um, the relationships. Give me one second and I will be back with you. 
So there we go. One second for you. Now two minutes for me. And now I've created this chart of the relationships between the numbers. And it, it really surprised me. Um, what I hadn't understood was that the only relations, the only dot relations, come between digits of the same parity. So you can see that one can be connected to three, either by a black or a white dot, which is just like one to two in normal crop key. But then three can connect as well as to one to nine or five. Obviously, there's this chain from one, three, five, seven, nine, and two links then between one and three and three and nine. On the even side, totally separate, the evens can never connect to the odds under these rules. But on the even side, again, a chain of whites from two to four to six to eight, and then one connection across them from two to six. So absolutely not what I was expecting at all. Um, but what it turns out, I mean, I, I think I can now see where the really interesting point of this puzzle is. And it's right here. This is not where I was looking before at all. But this cell connects to three different cells. And if you look at our map of connections, I think there is, oh no, there are, yeah, there is only one, no, six. It could be six or three, couldn't it? Sorry, I was thinking it could only be three. But actually, that could be six or three. Now, whichever one it is, these are all the same parity. So let's color them green. When I establish the parities, I think this is going to be a huge parity coloring exercise. When I establish the parities, I will change them to orange for odd and blue for even, which are kind of becoming our standards. These include two that can't be in that in the green set. So they must be purple because you couldn't get six greens in one box. There's five of one color and four of the other. Uh, so by the same token, all of these, anything connected together is always the same color, which is just fascinating. And look at that. We're getting huge swathes of color now. Um, so if this was three, two, four, six, eight, there'd have to be a run there. Oh no, it could be eight, six, two, four. Um, if this was six, this, I mean, it's going to have to go nine. I don't know. I can't work out why it's one thing or another. So let's carry on with the coloring if we can. Um, those are the same. Oh, these are all the same. Is there a reason they can't be purple? No, I don't think there is, as far as I can see. These would be green. They could also be green, whatever. Yeah, that's interesting. That's a big run of digits. Oh, I just can't work this one out. Um... Could be six with two, four, eight around it. This could also be three with one, nine, five around it. Hmm. Sorry, I'm not quite seeing. Is it? Oh, the white dot here. Is that helpful? If this was three, and this is the most restrained it can be then, that would be eight has to be one end because it only joins by a dot to one number. So this middle two would now have to be six and four with two the other end if this was three. We have six, four here. Seems to work all right. And if this is six, that's... Can't believe there's any problem here. 
This is either going to be 3, 5 or 5, 7. Can't be 3, 1. Um, could even be 7, 9, though, I think. Yeah, with a 5, 1, and 3, the other. So I'm not seeing how we resolve this. Sorry, let me let me study a little bit more to try and figure this one out. Three there. Those are all the same. Now surely there's some way of knowing which purple and green they are. If they were green. Purples. Oh, then green would be the one with five. You'd have purples up here. Okay, if these were green, you've filled box four with greens, and greens are odd. If these are green, then so you put your purples, then everything else is green in row four because you've got all the purples. So all these are green, that's purple. Four greens with five greens in every row, column, and box now. It does work. Okay, what if it's purple? Then purple is. Oh, that's interesting. Whether it's green or purple, this is the odd color. Maybe that could help us. So odd is orange. Okay, that's quite unexpected. Whether it's green or purple, it either makes up five of the same color here or five of the same color in this box. So it has to be the odd one. I don't know how that helps at all. Um, Ah, so you get a not dot, either there or there. You're connecting with something that isn't a connection, but there's quite a lot of those with the odds. Okay, this, maybe there's a way of determining whether... Now it's quite hard for this to be odd, this purple up here. Everything else would be even in, the bo in box five. So then, okay, you'd have evens. If purple is odd and green is even, now I'm coloring in remaining greens. That's odd there. That's four odds. You'd, oh, this doesn't work. This doesn't work. Okay, I've got it. Now let me just... Try and encapsulate how it doesn't work. Right. If purple is odd and green is even, then these yellow cells are also even. This cell here is odd so to make up the numbers for the row. That means these two can't be odd. They have to be even, otherwise, you get six odds in box six. But now you've got five evens in row four, and that's not possible. So purple is not odd. Purple is actually even, which surprises me. Wow, that was, that is a complicated, if that's the break in, and if that's how you have to do it, my goodness. But we're away. Now we're getting odds and evens. Now I've got four evens. I had to make those even because we already had five odds in box four. Now I've got four evens in row four. So all these other cells in row four are odd and anything connecting with them. Now I've got, well, I've already had my four evens in row five, so that's odd. I've got my five odds in box five, so that's even. Um, I want to get as much of this coloured as I can before I start doing the numbers, to be honest. Well, mind you, I now know that's three because it can't be six because it's odd. Um, oh, yeah, there's a whole run of things here. Um, ah, no, first of all, this pair 
can't be odd because that would be six odds in the column. So that's blue as well. That's three evens in row four, so those are odd. Oh, this one. Look, there's all pairs in box one. So this odd one out must be odd, ironically. That gives us four odds in column two, four in column three. I was going to say that means these can't be odd, but that's not true. They could be. They're quite. Those are the same, and those are the same. And it's one of each according to column three. So it's clearly one of each in column two, and that one is even. How weird. Okay, another, or another strange deduction. Shouldn't use the word odd for that. Um, but it hasn't resolved everything at all. Um, right. What about this again? If this was odd, you'd have the full number of odds in column four. That would be even up there. Oh, and this won't work. Oh, that's so weird. Okay, if this bottom one was odd, that makes this one even because of column four. And then you've got a problem in column five, because you've got your four evens, and these two have to be odd, as well as the other four that you've already marked. So that would be six odds. So all of that means that this bunch of six cells is even, ex omino, if you like. And now we can probably finish off the whole grid from there. That's odd. That's odd. They're even for the box. That was odd for the column. That was odd for the dot. They're even for the box. These three are all odd for the box. These five are all odd for the box. It's great to have now, now a row with four evens done. Four evens really finishes things off in a hurry. Um, and we've got that several times. Let me just keep going. All oh, right, we've got a dot down here, so they're odd. That one's even to make up the numbers. These three are even to make up the numbers. That's even. It's on a dot. Now we've got four evens in box six. We've got five odds in column nine. One odd to go, one, sorry, one even to go in columns eight, seven, and six. This one we must know, it's even. So we've got, ah, oh, these are the same. Is that a problem? Oh, I don't know how to go about this last bit. We've got one even to place in each column, one even to place in each row. Oh, that's interesting. So they've, ah, oh, so they, oh, that's quite weird. One even to place in each row. Yes, sorry. That's the simple way is we've had three evens in this row. So those two can't both be evens. That's odd. That's even. That makes these two odd. Ah, oh, and I can't do the last two. Two dominoes left that aren't known. Right, let's go to numbers now. I don't think there's any way of knowing those at this point without dots. Three connects to one, nine, and five, so it doesn't connect to seven, which is there. Seven, seven can connect to nine or five immediately, but if you go two cells on, it's always connecting to three. That's quite nice. Um, three, three, Regular Sudoku says that's the only odd number in that string of cells, so that's where three goes. Three connects by a white dot to either one or five. Um, and yes, it's these not dots that can be the most helpful. So seven doesn't connect to three and one, so that has to be a one. These are five and nine in some order. Um, yeah, the not dots. So five or nine there doesn't connect to this one, which also doesn't connect to one. So it's not, oh, well, it's not three. That's all that not connecting to one tells us. Ooh, a trio here that don't connect, or rather they don't connect through the middle. I'm sure, by the way, subject to this bit, that the whole puzzle can be done first as odds and then evens. 
that is what I'm going to try and do. I don't think there's any connection between odds and evens in this puzzle. Um, so one of these is a seven, and there's no connection between them. So it's a seven and a one, therefore, because seven can only not connect as an odd number to three or to one. So that must be a seven one pair, which fixes these. That makes this a nine. That makes this a five. This is a one seven nine combination, but seven and nine can't be together. So the one has to separate them because there's no dot. Um, so this is a five seven nine combination in row eight, and five and nine must be these two, the only pair that don't connect in five nine seven. So that's seven. This is one and three. The one can't be here because that only connects to three. So that's the three. That's the one. I haven't used, apart from up here very briefly, I haven't used the color of dots given at all. Oh, that's because the other two are uneven. Okay, fair enough. So three connects to nine or five, which then connects to seven. That means we're fixed over here, nine and seven. This is a one, three, nine triple that do not connect at all. There's no connection. <coughs> so I don't understand that. I've got something wrong then. Three must connect to either nine or one. Ah, that's a disaster. Right, let's go backwards and see what I've got wrong. I was pretty confident up to this point. One had to break up seven and nine, otherwise they would connect. So over here then, I said five, seven, and nine, and the only pair there that don't get a dot between them, they must be five and nine. That puts seven here. That makes this a one, three pair. Now, one can't connect something apart from three. I'm still sticking with this logic. Seven, three, that's fine. One, yeah, that's going to work. Now, three can connect to five or nine. Ah, and I put a seven here because I thought there was a connection, but there is no dot. So that is actually a five, nine pair. Right, that's better. One, seven, three up here. Now, how can we do those? Seven has to break up one and three, so they can't connect. So that does yeah. nine, seven works out there. Fine. Right. Sorry about that brief hiatus. This is seven or nine, and these two must not connect. So this can't be seven, because that would connect to either nine or five. Now, nine, five. So this must be seven. One is here. Oh, that doesn't help with that one. This is one or three. Ah, oh, that one does resolve this one. Okay, that is helpful. Three up there. Now, three connects to almost everything, but not actually seven. So that, oh, well, in fact, yeah, regular Sudoku tells us that seven is in one of those cells. Nines in one of those two. I don't quite know what's happening here. Right, this is a three five pair. Ah, more helpfully, that's a seven, and therefore we know that this is not five. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, one or nine there. We've got one and nine to go here, one or nine there. That makes a one nine pair in the column, so that gives us five nine. This, ah, this is like a naked single. It sees three there and five, nine, and one in the column, so seven there. <clears throat> so we've got nine and five to go in here. So, yeah, all of those work with the dots, as far as I can see. One, three. Three, seven. Ah, I've got a five, nine pair in this column, so that's where one is. Uh, one doesn't connect. No, that's yes. One, one could be one. Ah, seven to that one doesn't connect, so that's a one. Wow, this is quite weird to keep track of. This is now a seven. It's like a naked single again. 
This is a 5, similarly. 9 there. That fixes the 9 and 5 down here. This is now a 5. Now, can I finish off up here? I need a 3. That's got to be here. And I need a 1. That's got to be here. So let's color those in. These are the remaining evens. And now, how do I go about doing the evens? Ah, well, OK, 8 is the only thing that doesn't connect. So in any pair that involves non-connecting, there has to be an 8. So that must resolve this. So there has to be an 8 there. There has to be an 8 there. There has to be an 8 there. That is going to help. I'll come back to that in a moment. There's one there, and there's one there, and there's one there. That's a really weird way of looking at this. Not dots are more important than dots. Anyway, the 8's there tell us where 8 is here. So we can put in that 8. <coughs> That's not an 8. Um... Ah, and now we probably have to use the black dot. Two, four, and so yes, that has to be two and six. That's the only black dot possible in in the blue even cells. And in fact, what about this white dot? Didn't I work out eight has to be on the end of this? It does, and it's not here, because eight's in one of those two cells. Yeah, that's eight. It has to be on the end because it only connects to one digit. So six there, white dot to four, that's two. This now is a connection, so it's six, eight up there, eight there, two, four pair to be resolved there. One of these is eight. Eight can't connect to two different digits in the same box. Excuse me. That um, four there, four, eight, two, and six there. Yeah, this is working. That's a four by just regular Sudoku. That makes that eight to not connect. Two, six there, eight there, two, and six to go in. Eight connects to six. And I think this is all just going to come now. This is. This is a very clever puzzle indeed. That's a 2-4 pair. So this is 6. Um, 2 or 6 there. 2, 4 or 6 there. 6. One of these is an 8. It's got to be that one, has it? Yes. One of those is an 8. So it has to be there now. That's 2 or 4. Those, I don't know, actually. Um, ah, eight is now up here, and it does connect this time. Oops, so it's six and eight. That makes that two or four. In fact, that's a two, four pair as well. I'm not sure I'm getting these resolved. Six there. Ah, oh, yeah, that makes this a two, eight pair. That's good. Six, two, four. And now we're getting the two fours resolved, finally. Oh, I wrote 2, 5 there, and I meant 2, 8. 4 there, 2 there, yep, 8 and 2 are fixed there, 6, 8, 4, 2, 4, 4 and 2, and what a clever puzzle this has been. Very, inter very entertaining. Let's just hit the check button. And we're done. Very interesting puzzle from Dolev there. Um, most entertaining. I think you had to understand at least that connections chart to get going. But that was fun. Thanks very much for watching. Hope to see you again soon on Cracking the Cryptic. Bye for now.